그 AI 관련돼서는 모델러가 뭘 하는지 뭐 프론트 엔지니어들이 뭘 하는지 시스템 엔지니어를 뭘 해야 되는지 특히 LLM 이후로는 그런 것들이 다 붕괴되고 있는 상황입니다. 지금 시작하시는 분이라고 한다면 제일 좋은 전략이라고 한다면 So I'm trying to get into AI because everybody's saying oh, AI is the thing, AI is the thing. But after I just finished like intro Java course and don't know anything about anything else. And whenever I like try to learn it, everybody's saying that oh, it's too fast. Like it's uh, the field is fast, uh, fast paced. So I don't think you'll catch up. So I don't know where to start. Yeah, we can give you some public learning. Uh-huh. Nvidia.com/dli. And there's a whole bunch of uh, learning, uh-huh. and there, there's actually first principles classes. Uh-huh. You can take the class. All the the computing is provided for, um, and just just do it. Get started. So without fee. <laughs> no fee. There's no fee. No fee. Okay. I kid you not. Yeah. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I, baby, baby, just to uh, share my thoughts. I think the. You know, we're really in the early innings, so it feels like things are going very fast. I do think technology is accelerating at an accelerated pace, so there will be more new technologies coming faster. Uh, but if I actually look at most, you know, really big innovations, uh, they definitely take some time, right? And it's not always, you know, it's, it's the last mover that really wins, right? And so, you know, I'd encourage you to take your time to really figure out what you're passionate about, whatever that topic is, not AI, figure out, you know, what kind of industry you want to work in, those types of things. And then, uh, and then you can use AI in that context. And then it's all about uh, perseverance. If you're willing to you know, pursue that for five to 10 years, the AI uh, wave just started, right? So pretty soon, if you continue to kind of study hard at that topic, you can become one of the top 10 world's experts if you stick with it. 그 AI 관련돼서는 진짜 저희들도 나름대로 이제 뭐 컴퓨터 사이언스 관련돼 있는 잡과 스킬셋과 이런 트리들을 유지하는데 AI 특히 LLM 이후로는 그런 것들이 다 붕괴되고 있는 상황입니다. 그래서 뭐 모델러가 뭘 하는지 뭐 프론트 엔지니어들이 뭘 하는지 시스템 엔지니어를 뭘 해야 되는지 이런 것들이 막 붕괴되고 있는데 지금 시작하시는 분이라고 한다면 제일 좋은 전략이라고 한다면 AI나 이런 거에 열정에 들끓고 있는 사람들과 항상 함께 해야 됩니다. 그래서 대학원일 수도 있고 친구들일 수도 있고 뭐 아니면 예를 들어 네이버 같은 이렇게 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 열정에 넘치는 회사에서 이, 이 좋은 팀들과 함께 하는 것들이 제일 좋은 방법이라고 생각하고 이렇게 스탠다드는 아직까지는 저희는 약간 뭐라고 말씀드리기는 어려운 것 같습니다. 네. Uh, when it comes to IT, every year there's this fad, there's new technology comes in and uh, everyone gets interested and the next year another thing comes in and every, then people get interested. Do you think LLM is another fad or is it here to stay? LLM is fad or not? Well, it's obviously, it has a lot of uses, right? So I don't think it's a fad. Um, you know, there's already people who are writing software uses, using LLM, already. Um, I have a medical company, Amgen, they've written about it. They're using our biology LLM to actually screen new drugs. So it, this, this technology has real use. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think you can try it yourself. Uh, and it's a super uh, productive tool to uh, you know, create basic prose and text and things like that. Um, you know, like I, I think it still needs to probably find the kind of killer commercial model slash business use case, et cetera. Um, but it's clearly uh, quite valuable as a tool just in processing text um, and uh, understanding you know, summaries and things like that. So when I look into AI industry, there is a l- tremendous like, product and services, but a lot of companies are still reluctant to use the service, especially those companies in finance or healthcare. So my first question is, do you see any reason that those companies are hesitate to use AI product and services? And my second question is, do you have any plan to approach and break through those hesitance yeah. for those companies? Thank you. Just feel free to address. Um. So, I, uh, so first of all, um, I believe that the service providers will be the first companies 
to go into production and provide a service for that vertical. So take, for example, Bloomberg, right? Bloomberg made their own Bloomberg GPT, and they are using it now to provide a service to all of their information clients. Now, the reason why this is the, probably the most likely thing to happen is because notice both of these industries, financial services and healthcare, are highly regulated. And therefore, there's a lot more regulatory scrutiny, and it's easiest for the service provider to deliver the service, right? And that service provider could be neighbor, or it could be a vertical service provider, like a Bloomberg or, or so on. And maybe just to, to add to that, I've seen some use cases of AI. Um, if you think about it use, being used in like an R&D context for like a healthcare company, um, I mean, a large majority of the Fortune 500 healthcare companies uh, use Rescale today. Uh, and the context they, they use it in is uh, in a highly regula regulated space, like medical device development or something like that. Um, but they actually use sort of AI predictive physics models uh, to come up in the context of that development a better answer faster, right? And then they still use the traditional sort of methodologies uh, to be able to validate and verify and certify all these answers and designs. Um, but it really helps, you know, make that initial exploration process much more efficient, whether it's a medical device or, you know, identifying more promising drug targets. They still go through that same regulatory approval process, um, but they're able to basically do that much more efficiently. And so that sort of co-pilot or productivity tool for the R&D scientists is uh, what's so powerful. 그 금융이나 의료냐 법률 이쪽 관련돼서는 AI가 약간 여태까지 침투 못했던 영역들은 한세 가지 정도 이유가 있는 것 같습니다. 첫 번째가 우리가 미션 크리티컬한 거라고 하나요? 이렇게 절대 틀리면 큰일 나는 일들 이런 거는 약간 AI가 조금 접근하기 힘들었던 것 같고요. 두 번째는 규제나 이런 것 때문에 그 데이터가 어떻게 보면 클라우드나 이런 외부로 나오기 힘든 영역 이게 두 번째고 세 번째는 굉장히 전문 지식이 필요 법률, 의료, 금융 다 전문 지식들이 굉장히 많이 필요한 영역이잖아요. 제너럴하게 만든 AI가 어떤 답을 주기에는 굉장히 거리가 먼 그런 영역들입니다. 근데 그럼에 부, 그럼에도 불구하고 역시 금융, 의료, 뭐 법률도 미션 크리티컬하는 일들 말고도 일반적인 사무 업무나 이런 것들이 있기 때문에 지금 LLM이 굉장히 뭐 법률용 LLM, 의료용 LLM 혹은 또 교육용 LLM 뭐 이런 식으로 전문 지식으로 분화돼서 개발되고 있고 또 그들의 규제 상황에 맞게 어떻게 하면 그들이 안전하게 데이터를 보호하면서 LLM을 쓸수 있는가 하는 많은 방법들이 시도되고 있습니다. 그래서 아마 몇년 뒤에는 몇 년? 내년에는 아마 그 질문에 대해서는 다시 아마 생각해 보셔야 될 거라고 생각을 합니다. 네. <웃음>